So guys, what's up? Uh, let's talk about getting more data, especially that type of data which not appears in the tables. And uh, we will find frequently that we want to find, I don't know, maybe intermediate values. For example, we have tables that start or have data for 8 megapascals and data for 10 megapascals. And you are looking or working with 9 megapascals, well, you're going to have a problem there. Or many times you want to find external values. For example, data for a process that, he, that is working at 65 megapascals and vapor tables, I don't know, maybe your table finishes or does not have, have more data than 50 megapascals. And many times you're going to need for different states and in that case we're going to be using other uh, thumb rules. So how do we do this? This is the problem I was telling you. 8 megapascals, 10 megapascals, and what if you have a process that is about 9 megapascals? Well, you're probably wondering, let's say, what, what will be that enthalpy at 9 megapascals of water? At, let's say, 400 Celsius. So you have the one on enthalpy here for 8 megapascals, and you have 400 Celsius for 10 megapascals, the entropy will be here. So you have values 396 and that will be 338. So you know it's be, uh, between these values because of course 9 is between these numbers. 10 megapascals, 8 megapascals, 9 megapascals. And actually the most common sense will be, let's make an average. You have this value here and you have this value here and since the average on 8 and 10 will give you 9 makes a lot of sense to make an average of this and this actually will be around 3 uh, like 20 3 120 or so but what will be the problem if you are actually looking for 9.5 or even 10.5 what's what are we going to do in that case well we could use this numerical method, which is called interpolation or extrapolation. Actually, mathematically speaking, is the same, but the concept is different. Interpolation is between known values, and extrapolation will be, let's say, 11 megapascal will be, let's guess, using these two data, what will be the 11th value. And of course, we're going to be supposing linear behavior. If we cannot suppose linear behavior, then your data will not fit that of the real basics. And before going to the actual explanation on the interpolation, I just want you to check out what would you need for, I don't know, if I want a data at 340 Celsius or 750 Celsius, what would you do if you do not have that specific value? What's up guys, it's me, Chemical Engineering Guy. So if you like the video, why not push the like button? It really helps me to know if you're liking the videos or if I should be changing something or I should be adding something, taking out content, whatever. Also, sharing is caring. So if you got any kind of friends, teachers, colleagues or whatever kind of person that might be interested in this type of content, why not share it? Sharing helps our community to grow faster in members and in content. If you want to keep track of my activity, videos, uploads, experiments, playlists, whatever content I'm getting on YouTube, be sure to click the subscribe button. Subscribing to the channel is totally free, guys. My dream is to create an online academy of chemical engineering, where everyone can access it in the world. Imagine a place in which the student, the teacher, and the engineer get the best of each other. Thank you, thank you, thank you guys for the support and the love.